Y'all still, y'all still got. I, I know, I know. Um, it's a long walk, but there's souls. Hallelujah! It's all about the souls. Yo, y'all ready? But, but we're we're gonna get a chant going, cause cause the spirit of God. Hallelujah! I'm not tired. I'm not tired. God saved me when I was tired. You know, like I can't be tired of preaching. Hallelujah! But Hallelujah. what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. 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 Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. 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 Jesus.
There's an emergency that's happening, and I'm sounding the alarm. There's a pandemic, and it's worse than COVID. The kingdom of God is at hand. For far too long, we have been seeing evil normalized. We see school shootings. We see homosexuality. But we're here as the kingdom of God to tell you that the kingdom of God is at hand. That you need to turn away from sin. And Jesus Christ, he's coming back to judge the living and the dead. And he's going to come. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that you can be set free. That you don't have to be a slave anymore. Hallelujah. Jesus but many of you, for far too long, you worship idols. You worship music. You worship these satanic rappers. 21 Savage, Playboy Cardi. But Jesus is saying, worship me. Why are you putting your faith in a man? You need to seek your creator because your life was bought with a price. Hallelujah. We'll have March, we'll keep marching. That's the kingdom of God, see? But here's the thing that you have to understand. Your life was bought with a price. See, your life isn't free. And the word of God says that your life is like a vapor. One second your life is there. The next second it's gone. So if you have ears to hear, then hear today and repent and turn to Jesus Christ. See, many of you here, you have ears, but you cannot hear. But we're here to wake up the lost in darkness. You don't have to be a slave anymore. Jesus is saying, open your ears. See, many of you, you cover your ears because you hate truth. But Jesus, in his word, he says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man goes unto the Father except through by him. See, when you die, you can't say I'm a good person. And I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters in Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah, that good people don't go to heaven. Forgiven people do. You could be redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. But you've been trusting in your works. Many of you, you think you're good people. Many of you, you're walking in Los Angeles, but you're lost. You're like the walking dead. You're zombies because God is calling out to you. God is calling out to you. But for far too long, You've been turning your ears away from God. You close your eyes. You say, I'm a Sunday Christian. God is looking for an army. God is looking for a church, a spotless bride. And the word of God says that his church is going to be raptured without spot and blemish. See, you don't have to go clean to go into a shower. You go to a shower to get clean. But many of you, you're in filthy rags because you're trusting in your works. You're in filthy rags because you're saying, I don't need God. I need to be a perfect Christian. I need to be a goody two-shoes. You know, many of you, you've been to prison, you've been smoking weed, and you're saying, man, God can't forgive me. Well, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you the gospel that Jesus loves you, and he's calling for a relationship with you, that you don't have to be a slave. Many of you, you've been in depression for far too long. You've been hooking up with guys to try to find pleasure in your flesh. But how many guys, ladies, how many guys will it take to fill that void? How many drinks will it take to fill that void? I'm here to tell you, Los Angeles, that it will never be enough, that you could be found in Jesus Christ. The Jesus-sized void that wants to fill you is here today. Hallelujah. But God is saying, call on your knees, repent, call on his name, and you will be set free. You will see, see, I was a slave to my sin. I was smoking weed every 15 minutes in quarantine, lost. I was like, man, I need answers. Maybe this weed will give me answers. Maybe the girl will give me answers. Maybe this will give me answers. But the answer is in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The answer is not in the things of this world. You cannot, you cannot numb yourself from the truth. And the word of God says that if you seek the truth diligently, you will find him. Hallelujah. And the Hallelujah. truth is Jesus Christ. The truth is not Buddha, it's not Allah, it's not Muhammad, it is Jesus Christ. It's not vibration, see? Because you're trying to hire your vibration, but you're hanging out with someone who isn't following God. See, you wow. want to hire your vibration, you want peace, find a man of God. Wow. Many of you, you're dating a thug, you're, you're like, oh man, he could shoot good. Oh man, oh, yeah. he smokes weed, he knows how to rob. You don't have peace because you don't have a man of God in your life. Many of you, the thing that you're missing is godliness. But how can you have good if God is the only thing that's good? See, you're, you want godliness in your life, but you won't seek the things of God. Jesus is saying that no man is good. 
But what do we have? We have people here worshiping false idols. They're saying Krishna. They're saying the name of a God that is dead. You're saying the name of a God that is dead. Your God is dead, but my God is alive. And Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, he is Jesus. to redeem the dead, the ones that were dead in my sin. I was dead in my sin, but Jesus redeemed me. I rebuke Krishna. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because God is going to rebuke you. See, when you stand before God, you're going to see that there's a one true God, and his name is Jesus Christ. And Jesus said in his word that you shall ser serve no other idols. Amen. But many of you need to listen. You've been serving social media. You've been serving your phone. You've been serving man. Because you're, you're afraid to think what, what people think if you were to worship Christ. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's worth it. That if you trust in Jesus Christ, if you repent of your sins, you will see that it's worth it. That there's nothing else in this world that can satisfy you. There's nothing else in this world that could please you. It's only Jesus Christ. And he's here today crying out, calling out, children, son, come to me and you will find peace. Jesus is saying, if you come to me, you will never be put to shame. See, God, he loves you so much. And he is saying, call on my name. Believe in me, repent, forsake your sin, forsake the darkness and come to light. Be forgiven today. Today is the day of salvation. See, because tomorrow is in promise. The word of God says, what man here can live and not see death? Many of you, you take your life for granted. But here, there's a holy God that's going to judge many of you. And many of you, you think you're on the narrow way. The word of God says, enter through the narrow gate. For broad is the path that leads to destruction, but narrow is the way. See, I'm a young man. How many people my age are preaching the word of God? See, we live in a godless society. We say we're going to go to heaven, but God is saying that you need to repent. Hallelujah, that today is a day of salvation. Today is a day to get right. Today is the day of the Lord. Well, God is sounding the alarm, Los Angeles, because God is not coming with a flood. He's coming with a fire. See, God flooded this earth. He saw how wicked and rebellion, rebellious, hallelujah. He saw how rebellious creation was to the creator. What do we say? We say, our alcohol is my creator. Every time you're sad, oh, I need another drink. Every time you're angry, you need sex. See, you have many gods in the name of pleasure. The word of God says that he who loves pleasure, you're putting up your beard. But the word of God says that he who loves pleasure will come to poverty. But if you come to Jesus, you'll reap eternal life. See, many of you, you believe in karma. Well, the word of God says, let every man reapeth what he sows. See, if you sow to the flesh, the word of God says that if you sow to the flesh, you will reap death. If you sow to tarot cards, if you sow to homosexuality, if you sow to sex before marriage, you will reap death. Wow. But if you sow to the spirit, if you pray, if you fast, hallelujah, if you seek the Lord, you will reap eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all ready to march? The kingdom of God is taking over. Hallelujah. 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 We're getting exercise. See, we were running to the bars. We were running to, to our sneaky link. We were running to the things of this world. But it's time to run for Jesus. And this is the bridge. Here, we're walking spiritually. You know, we might have a few soldiers. But in heaven, we have many angels. Because this is war. See, many of you, you're in a spiritual warfare. You're going through spiritual warfare. You're being tormented with thoughts. Oh, man, take your life. You're being tormented while well, God is saying that you could be delivered through Jesus Christ. But for far too long, we've been trusting in pharmaceuticals. We've been trusting in our friends to reassure us that the emptiness that we feel isn't realistic. But the word of God says that no man could be filled if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why we say filled with the Holy Spirit. See, the spirit is what breathes life in you. The word of God says that he who is in the flesh is dead. Many of you are dead. Many of you, you're walking, but you're dead. You think you're alive, but you look in the mirror and you say, man, I'm empty. You look in the mirror and you say you're depressed. 
you 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 identify with your demons well i'm here to tell you that you could be delivered hallelujah you could be hallelujah. set free if you trust in the name of jesus christ if you repent if you be born again see you could have a new nature jesus says that all things are old and they pass away and that all things have become new, hallelujah. That you could be a new creation, see? I was a man that was wretched in my sin. I was a man that was a womanizer. I was a man that was smoking weed. But when the Holy Spirit touched me, I couldn't recognize myself. I was a new man. My desires changed. But I'm here to tell you that you're slave to your desires. You're a slave, man. But you could be free through Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You can be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can be filled with peace. See, the word of God says that he gives peace that surpasses all understanding. When I was in the world, what, the Lord rebukes you. Hallelujah. 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 See, demons tremble in the name of Jesus. That is why you need Jesus. Because even the demons believe. You know, even the demons believe in Jesus. Well, Jesus is real. And many of you were created by a very real God. And God is saying, hallelujah, oh, God, God is saying sister. today is the day of salvation. God is saying today is the day to know your creator. Many of you, you're knocking on God's door, but he doesn't know you. Many of you, you know God, you go to church, but I want to ask every one of you, does he know you? Because when you die and you stand before God, he's going to ask you, do you know me? Many of you, you know God by a five-second McDonald's microwave prayer. That is not knowing the God of heaven. See, you give Tinder, you give social media, you give Instagram seven hours. You give a pointless job that's going to perish eight-hour shifts. But you give God five seconds and you think that you know him. Well, God is saying today is a day of salvation, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. But many of you, you don't fear God. You worship God, but you worship the blunt. You worship God, but you worship sex. You worship God, but you worship drugs. Jesus said that you can't serve two masters. So either you'll love one and hate the other. That is why we need to serve the master Jesus Christ with our life. We need to serve him with our soul. We need to serve him with our heart. And I'm compassionate because there's a fire. The word of God says that all will have their partaking in the lake of fire. If they reject the son of man, if they reject Jesus Christ, that is why today is the day of salvation to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Today is the day to get right. Many of you, you're walking, but you're blind. But God, he healed the blind. There's good news. Many of you, you're blind, but he could heal you. But God is saying today, because tomorrow is in promise, see your life is like a vapor. Your life is like smoke, one second it's there, the next second it's gone. That is why we need the Lord. Los Angeles, there's a reason why we're lost, because we're lost without Christ. See, we need to be found in Jesus Christ. See, I was a man of no purpose. I was a dead man, I was awake, but I was asleep. I was alive, but I was dead. Well, Jesus, he can breathe his Holy Spirit in you. Jesus, he can set you free. Jesus, he can redeem you. Jesus, if you believe, if you repent, and you be born again, you could be set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is saying today, it's a day of salvation, and I'm preaching through the power of the Holy Spirit. See, the word of God says that the kingdom of God does not consist of talk, but of demonstration and power. But we're here to tell you that there's a real God who is crying out to you that you could be set free from depression. One day I was depressed, but I encountered Jesus Christ and I was set free. And many of you, you believe, but you don't believe. The word of God says that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can tell any mountain to move and it will move. So I'm here to tell you, I'm here to plead with you. If you ask Jesus, Jesus, if you're real, show me. He will reveal himself to you. See, the word of God says that if you ask for bread, he will not give you stone. If you ask for fish, he will not give you a Hallelujah. serpent. But for far too long, many of you, you say, if God is real, why do you create the devil? If God is real, why do all these bad things happen? Well, God is saying that the devil's the God of this world. The devil's the creator of evil. See, many of you, when you reject God, when you reject the free gift of heaven, you're saying, I'm worshiping Satan. 
and all will have their partaking in the lake of fire. If you want to be a devil, if you want to be on demon time. But God is saying today is the day to serve the Lord. Jesus is saying he loves you very much, but he's calling you to repent. You cannot love Jesus if you do not make repenting a thing in your life. Because Jesus said in his word that if you love me, hallelujah, you will obey me, you will follow me, hallelujah. The word of God says, if any man follow me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross daily. This is a daily walk. But many of you are giving up. Many of you, you're giving up in life. You're giving up, you're saying, man, if only something could fill me. Man, if this cocaine, if these drugs, if my children, you know you put your faith, that's how abusing starts. Because it's saying, hey, I need this, I need you in my life to fill me. Well, Jesus is saying he could fill you. He could set you free. But today is a day of salvation. Today, and I'm sounding the alarm, today is a day to get right with God because tomorrow is in promise. And Jesus is crying out to you. You see, the word of God says that he who formed you, hallelujah, he formed you and he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb, hallelujah. And the word of God says that he who formed the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? See, God created your ears. He created your eyes. Many of you, you say, how can God know what I'm going through? Why would I need God? I have all this money. Well, God is saying, I created your ears. I know you, I see you, but many of you, you don't see what, what this world has come to. We're living in the last days. I was radically saved. I was smoking weed. I cursed out the preacher and my soul was leaving my body, but Jesus saved me. And I said, God, why me? I was never looking for you, but Jesus chose me to sound the alarm that we're living in the last days, that Jesus is coming back. And it's going to be like a thief in the night. When people are eating McDonald's, it's going to be like the days of Noah. You're going to be eating and drinking, and then the end will come. And then men will return to dust, and the spirit will return back to God. But God is saying, when that time comes, it's going to be too late. See, many of you, you're saying you have all these years ahead of you. But tomorrow is in promise. That's why we're coming and we're pleading for your soul. Because there's a day that's going to come. The word of God says that there's a point in time of death and judgment. What well, we're here to tell you, Los Angeles, that judgment is coming swiftly. But many of you, you rejected the things of God. And I hear the heart of God. God is grieved. The word of God says that God finds no pleasure in the wicked perishing. That he is patiently waiting that all come to the knowledge of truth. But many of you, you love your lie over the truth. You love your fornication. You love your alcohol. You love your weed over truth. Well, the word of God says, what fellowship does light have to do with darkness? See, you cannot come into the kingdom of light if you want to stay in darkness. The word of God calls us to be the salt and the light of the earth. Many of you, you're like, oh man, I don't know anyone that doesn't party. You know, because we have normalized debauchery. We have normalized sin and wickedness. But we need to come to a place where we're broken. The word of God calls us set apart, peculiar people, royal priesthood. We're called to be in the world, but not of it. But how many of you, you, you heard the church sermons, but you say, oh man, I love this world. I love church, I love God, but let me be, I love pleasure. Well, God is saying that you can't serve two. You need to choose one. You need to choose one. There's one God and he's gonna judge you. And when that time comes, I'm here to plead with you, Los Angeles, that it's gonna be too late. And I'm here with all my breath through the power of the Holy Spirit to warn you that today is the day to get right with Jesus Christ. Today is the day to repent. Today is the day to seek the Lord, for you know that he is good. The word of God says that God is good. See, we serve a good God who is merciful, who has grace. Mercy is the day you woke up because you close your eyes and you weren't guaranteed to wake up. That was mercy and grace. Every breath that you take is intentionally handed to you by God. And God is saying, today is the day to get right. Today is the day to follow me. Today is the day to repent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Jesus Lord. Hallelujah. 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 H
y'all so y'all so got I, I know I know um it's a long walk but there's souls hallelujah it's all about the souls yo y'all ready but but we're we're gonna get a chant going because because the spirit of God hallelujah I'm not tired I'm not tired God saved me when I was tired you know like I can't be tired of preaching hallelujah but hallelujah what's his name Jesus what's his name Jesus what's his name What's his name? 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 Jesus. 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 Hold up, hold up. Who can set you free from depression? Jesus. Who can set you free from anxiety? Jesus. What's the name of the one and only true God? Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But well, let's get it back. Let's get it back. Saints of God, the word of God says that this race is not for the weary or the faint. So we're going to proclaim Jesus to our last breath. Hallelujah. What's his name? Jesus. 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 King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. False gods. Jesus. False idols. Krishna. I rebuke that. Jesus. Who's King of Kings? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Lord of Lords. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. King of Kings. Jesus. King of Kings. Hallelujah. 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 And the word of God, hallelujah. The word of God says that every knee shall bow, that every tongue shall confess, 
See, when you stand before Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, you will see that he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's going to judge the living and the dead. See, the Lord is saying, repent. The Lord is saying to turn away. Turn away from your sin, because there's a fire that is coming. Well, God is a consuming fire, and his Holy Spirit can burn up the chains of depression, can turn up the chains. Hallelujah. Could break every chain. Hallelujah. Well, God is saying today, if you have ears to hear, God is sending his messengers. He's raising up young people that are set apart, that are saying no to this world. And God is saying today, Jesus Christ is saying today, it's the day of salvation that you can be set free, that you don't have to be a slave. You don't have to choose this world. This world will never satisfy you. The word of God in James 4, 4 says that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. See, we're tired of this world. We're tired of the pride parades. We're tired of the school shootings. We're tired of sin. But God is saying, repent, man. He's saying, repent. Do you love Jesus, man? I love Jesus and you. You want me to glory to God. God loves you too, man. He loves every single one of you. But God said, if you love me, then keep my commandments. See, if you love Jesus then keep his commandments yes, sir. because we serve a holy God. See, God is holy and righteous. And the word of God says without holiness, we cannot see the kingdom of God. See, we cannot be holy without the Holy Spirit. See, many of you, you think you're holy by yourself. But I want to ask you, are you born again? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Have you repented and believed in Jesus and made him Lord over your life? Many of you, you have given the Lord Sunday. He, you have given the Lord one day out of the week. God is saying, be faithful. Be faithful. You, you don't only talk to your wife on a Sunday. You don't only talk to your husband on a Sunday. See, God doesn't want a relationship in religion. He wants a relationship with you. Many of you, you think that a relationship with God is religion. You, you pray to marry your Catholic? Oh yeah, I'm Catholic. I bow down to idols. You bow down to stone. You bow down to something that's dead. You need to bow down and you need the fear of the Lord. That's why we're here sounding the alarm. Many of you, you've been in idolatry. You've been living in sin. And you think that there's no consequence. The word of God says that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. See, that is why we need to repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there's a wage for your iniquity. Every time you sleep before marriage, every time you sin, every time you reject God with your lifestyle, every time you reject God with your heart, you are choosing the devil. And the word of God says that the devil is the father of lies. Many of you, you're living in a lie because you love, you love your father, the devil. Well, I'm here to tell you that you have a father in heaven. You have a father in heaven that loves you. Many of you, your earthly father has rejected you. You grew up without a father. You grew up without a mother. I'm here to tell you, you have a heavenly father that can't compare because he's eternal. When he adopts you as a son or daughter, you don't need to sleep with random men. You don't need to sleep with random women just to have a father figure. Because that's what many of you do. You've been rejected by your dad. You've been rejected by your mom. And you say, I need more men. Amen. But you have a father who is holy. Praise and Jesus, Jesus is the masculine man ever that walked this earth. Jesus was so masculine that he laid down his life for you. And the word of God says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever so shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Many of you, you'd rather choose everlasting death. You would rather reject God and say, love is love. You say, I live my life. My life is free. Well, your life was bought with a price. Your life was bought with his blood. And today is the day of salvation. And I see, I see Joe fired up. You ready, bro? You ready, bro? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to pass it to you, bro. You ready? Jesus. 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 What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's